I wanted to show you um, in real time about Salclear and how good this product really is. Now, if you have a look over here, I've got my jug, and I'm going to show you that everything's done all equal. So I'm going to boil that jug there, and in this cup here I'm going to place some water, and then place it inside the helmet. So I'll just lift the visor. Right. So the jug's now boiled. Boiling hot water. I'm going to place that inside there. I'm going to have to uh, do it this way. Close the visor. Now that's an untreated, untreated visor. I don't know if you can see that. That visor is now starting to fog up. That's with boiling hot water in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry the visor and I'm going to do the exact test but now with using Salclear. So I'm going to have to stop it here so I can clean the uh, visor. Actually, I won't stop it. I'll keep going. So let me just lift the helmet off there. Just wipe that down. I'm going to dry that visor out. And there were some tissues. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some sal clear to the inside of the helmet. I'm just going to use the spray. I'm just going to push that around there with my hands on the helmet. I'm just going to buff it dry. And I'm just using Cell Clear TT to do that. So now I'm going to reboil that jug. I'm going to throw this water out. Place that back inside the helmet. Close the helmet. And we'll just zoom in up on the helmet. And as you can see, and I'll leave it there for a little while, there's no fogging of that inside of that visor, and that's with boiling hot water. And as you can see, I haven't doctored anything, I've just done ex ex exactly the same with both methods so I had one where I hadn't had the cell clear now with the cell clear I've boiled the jug equally and I've allowed enough time for that to fog up and as you can see not one bit of fogging that's how good cell clear is